Andrew Percy. Uh, Mr. Deputy Speaker, uh, Mr. Speaker, um, I was in Israel last week meeting with friends and survivors and hostage families, uh, and I actually felt safer in Israel than I do in this country at this moment in time. And I have two reflections on that visit and on what happened yesterday. First of all, nobody in this House has any business agency at all in telling the State of Israel where it is able to operate to seek to rescue hostages who are being raped yeah, yeah, by Islamic yeah. terrorists yeah, who yeah. hold them. Nobody has any business. Secondly, if we have a rerun of the debate we had yesterday, we will have exactly the same thing happen again, which is that members will not vote with their hearts because they are frightened and they are scared. Yeah, yeah. And what, what do we expect? For months I've been standing up here talking about the people on our streets demanding death to Jews, demanding jihad, demanding intifadas, as the police stand by and allow that to happen. Last night, a genocidal call for from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free, was projected onto this building. That, that message says no Jew is welcome in uh, the state of Israel or in that land. This is going to continue happening because we're not dealing with it. So if we have a rerun of this, can the leader explain to me what will be any different and how will members vote with their hearts and their consciences? Because too many will not at the moment because of the threats we're receiving, threats that are telling us to leave this country in some of our cases and telling us that they want us or our families to be subjected to pain and to death. Yeah. Yeah. Leader. Well, can I thank well my honourable friend for raising this? I don't think there is any member of this House that has not come under threats and intimidation and uh, increasingly death threats to them, but also members of their family as well. Uh, I know I have had many such threats, and other members have spoken about their experiences on the floor of this House. There are many things that we can do with regard to physical security, and I again thank the, the House authorities for what they did yesterday. Uh, and on the particular matter he raises with regard to the projections uh, put on this building last night, uh, that is being looked at by both the Speaker's Office, Parliamentary Security, uh, the Metropolitan Police and Westminster City Council, who will be responsible for pursuing prosecutions uh, in that case. But I would say again to all members of this House, we are elected here to carry out our duty and to uh, take our responsibility seriously. It is often a frightening task, but we cannot let this place be, uh, and ourselves be, be, uh, change what we think is the right course of action due to those threats. If we do that, they will have won. And they will never win. We have to show courage, and our constituents need us to show courage on these matters. We must vote and do what we think is right.